You're the favourite child. You used to struggle with food slash fitness slash body image. You're worried about your career since COVID. You are a relationship person. You'd give up YouTube for your theatre career if you had to. You don't like watching your old vlogs back because of your ex being in them. Love you by the way. welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be doing this makeup look right here and answering your true or false assumptions i thought by doing them together it would just make it a bit more interesting and this is the sort of makeup i've been going for when i've been putting makeup on at the moment so i hope you guys enjoy seeing how i do this makeup look also getting to know a bit more about me i guess if you're a new subscriber then you will learn some things about me if you're a returning subscriber you might find out some things you didn't know about me <laughs> but like i was very honest very open kind of spilled some tea i guess thought it'd be a fun video to film so i hope you guys enjoy before i get into this video i just wanted to let you guys know i'm holding super exciting giveaway on my instagram i've teamed up with misguided and i'm giving away a 50 pound voucher for one of you guys to spend on misguided and i'm super excited about it so just head over to my instagram it's just under Scott Adina May. All the rules are over on my Instagram, but subscribe on here and follow my TikTok for bonus entries. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get on to the video. I hope you enjoy it. Right, I feel like we should just get going with my makeup and then we can answer the assumptions. I'm really excited to go through them. I'm feeling very honest. I mean, I'm always honest, but I'm feeling like I'm going to be very open today. I'm not really going to talk too much through the makeup and like the specific products but i will leave them all linked down below i'm sure you guys can all kind of see like what i'm doing anyway but i want this video to mainly be like on the assumptions and about the assumptions but um yeah i just i'm gonna start off with my eyes and then i'm going old school here and i'm adding tape i saw a girl on tiktok do it and i've just been doing it every day okay the tape is on and i just use it to help me it just like guides me where to do a wing using eyeshadow um, and i've just been taking like dark brown shades to create a wing over using black eyeliner i just think it creates like a softer look okay let's go in with the first assumption whilst i do this you have never been cheated on true as far as i'm aware i never have been I feel like i haven't done a video like this in a while and if you're like a new subscriber you might learn a bit more about me <laughs> you love living in bristol personally i love it um i would say that is true i do like living in bristol obviously i lived in london for three years when i was a bird and i loved that and my my plan wasn't to move back to bristol but then obviously corona happened and you know there's no point of me paying rent in london at the moment so true i do love living in bristol i think it is such a cool place and a nice place to have grown up i'm really i feel really lucky to have grown up here obviously i do plan on moving back to london hopefully by the end of this year fingers crossed as i do the wing with an angled brush i just like to blend it out slightly just makes it less harsh okay both sides have pretty much been done i'm just gonna remove the tape and clear up the edges with a makeup wipe so moving on to the face i feel like now my the eyeshadow is done obviously the eyes aren't done i feel like i can answer these assumptions a bit more my neck is a different color to my face and also it's eczema on my neck um but don't worry we will sort it all out you would give up performing to do youtube and insta full time this is false um yeah completely false i would never give up performing it's what i've always wanted to do and oh that was an error um yeah i could never i could never ever give it up as much as i love youtube and obviously and creating content i absolutely love it never give performing up for it i think you low-key want to be vegan but holding back um true and false i know this foundation looks super dark but just give me a minute to blend it out this is true and false 
I think I could be I could be a veggie very easily I think I like the thought of being vegan don't get me wrong I think whilst living at home and obviously um not cooking for myself I think it's really difficult to try and it just makes it more difficult for my mum who cooks like the majority of the time and to worry about sorting me out as well if I were to do something like if I was to say that I wanted to be veggie blah blah I try and cut out on my meat and dairy and stuff I guess yeah there is some truth in that maybe when I move out I will I will probably do veggie just cut it out where I can at the moment okay next assumption you are a relationship person okay if you asked me a year ago this would be true if you ask me now i'd say false i read this the other day when i asked for assumptions and i was like deep in it and having to think about things i think i found myself in relationships like naturally so i guess naturally you would say i was like a relationship person and and like being completely open with you guys when um me and my like long-term boyfriend broke up i got into a relationship probably sooner than i would have wanted to after that but it didn't feel wrong it didn't feel like it was too soon but i think in my head i was like oh i'm gonna be single for like a couple of years now and then obviously when someone comes along you're not just gonna not like i wasn't just gonna ignore that it just sort of happened and i found myself like being in relationships but now I'm really really happy being single and I really don't want to get into another relationship for quite a long time now I think I don't know just sort of after having like those relationships and stuff I'm now 22 and I think I've still got a good couple of years before I want to sort of find the person I want to marry that sort of thing so like I just want to use the next year two years to be on my own I love like since being single I absolutely love it i love how much i've learned about myself i love how much time i have for myself and i love just doing whatever i want and i think it will just stay that way for a while now i just fully want to focus on me on my career on my friends on you know when things start opening up again just like going out and living my life um so yeah it's really funny because i just sort of found myself in relationships growing up sort of how it happened for me and that's fine i don't regret any i don't regret any of it I think you can have regrets because you wouldn't be the person you are now it wouldn't sort of have led you to the same place now i'm really grateful for all those like times and experiences i had with the people i've been with but i think now i'm in such a good place on my own and i love it so yeah the answer now to that assumption is false i love this one you're the most bad bitch you've ever felt at the moment because it looks like it thank you um i appreciate that i would say that is true <laughs> i guess and it goes with the last assumption i feel the most myself the most like confident in myself the just sort of the most me i've ever felt kind of deeped it today though like i was just driving to get an acai bowl and i don't know if you guys are the same i was like i'm 22 and corona like i think how old am i gonna be when i next go into a club like i'm wasting my early 20s doing what <laughs> like if i think about it for too long it makes me really angry but we'll we'll get the time honestly i'm hoping for a hot girl summer i'm hoping for fun times to come me and my friends to live in our lives <laughs> no i like that assumption that was fun okay my face has been set don't mind the slight like foundation lips going on you've had a pregnancy scare um true but not um not like a really serious i think i've touched on this before but quite a while ago that i came off the pill just to give my body a break and i was with my boyfriend at the time and i just agreed that i really wanted a break for um 
just for my body and it then took me a whole year to get my periods back i think it was a mix of like my body being used to coming off coming off the pill also a mix of like i was a very very active i was quite slim a mix of all those different things and i think within that time obviously like it was a whole year of not having a period and for the first few months i was like this is kind of weird like is everything okay in in that sense but it was i wasn't and i i was fine but naturally i guess when you're with someone and you know you haven't had a period for that amount of time i didn't really place i didn't know what was going on i didn't know how long it was going to take for my body to go back to normal so i guess you could say true but it wasn't it wasn't in a way that was like to do with like coming off my pill and just my body adjusting not actually like an actual pregnancy scare you don't argue a lot but if you do you're really good at it i guess kind of true no i'm not really the type of person to argue i don't really see the point in arguing with people i guess it depends on the person but yeah, i'd say i'm pretty good at arguing to be fair okay this is quite an interesting one you don't like watching your old vlogs back because of your ex being in them I don't really think about it I'd say this is false i i don't watch my vlogs back too often but when i do i really just like think of them as great memories like i just i don't really think of it like that i sort of just think of it as so though he was part of that time of my life and like I there is no bad blood there at all there is nothing like, there's nothing like that I don't look at it in that kind of way yeah it's funny because it doesn't make me feel a kind of way at all I just think of those times as like happy times and the things I've vlogged like Japan and things like that are still amazing experiences just because I was with someone who I'm now no longer with it doesn't I don't know I don't watch them in any sort of different way and I haven't thought to have privated them just because their point is points of my life and it was you know it was my life at the time and it was great like do you know what i mean it was great whilst it lasted it wasn't a bad breakup there was just like a falling out of love situation it was nothing it was nothing bad and i don't feel any way towards it now i don't mind watching them back at all i just think of them as really nice happy memories and i wish him all the best i hope he's you know i hope he's good i hope he's doing well and they will always be just like good times in my life think of it more as just a nice thing rather than anything else to be honest uh you're worried about your career since covid yes a hundred percent i mean everyone in the performing industry i mean what is the performing industry right now like it's non-existent so i think naturally and i think it's more it's obviously a worry but it's also i'm trying to did i say true i keep remembering it's true or false much as it's a worry it's also just sad like it's just sad that the theaters are shut and it's sad that we can't perform i mean graduating in this time has just been rubbish but you know it is what it is but no i would say that's true i've definitely been worried and i'm worried that how long it will take for theaters to come back and how long these things will last but that's fine everyone's in the same boat we can't do anything about it yeah it is it is what it is i've actually been doing my brows slightly differently at the moment i've got a soap bar and i finally got round to try and soap brows and i do really like it so i just sort of brush it through my brows and sort of let it sit a bit and then i have run out of eyebrow pencil so i've just been using a little bit of like dark brown shadow to sort of just define them a bit better whilst i'm letting the soap sort of like set in the brows let's do another one used to struggle with food slash fitness slash body image true yeah um i did and i guess i still do i touched on this in a video before i think being like a dancer being a performer sort of having the constant pressures of looking a certain way or fitting a certain mold is very apparent and i look back on like times when i thought i was Hot. i don't know i keep saying this maybe i'll do a full video on it but i really don't know what i would say or if what i say is <sighs> i feel like it's such a touchy i'm trying to find a brush i can't find it i feel like it's a really touchy sort of subject and i'd never want 
I don't know I should ever make a full video on it um I feel like I'm a lot better now but obviously I've really struggled with like the fact that I came home from bird and naturally put on weight because you know you burn however many calories and you burn up so much energy every single day and then as soon as that's sort of taken away from you it's like oh like your body doesn't really know like in and we went into a lockdown and then your body's like oh so I'm now not moving this much every day and I think I found it hard the I think one of the saddest things about it about it is if I had a job say like for my friends for example like my friends are becoming a midwife or a nurse or um like a, a, a normal job I guess not like a performing job I don't even think I would think about it as much because it wouldn't be important whereas in my head and I don't want this to like trigger anyone or make anyone think about it like this if they don't or it's just my brain I think well you know I've got to watch certain things and you know my body has to look a certain way because when I go into that audition they want me to look like this and they're thinking about me like that and this costume and those ensemble girls that I need to look like and you know I think there's so much pressure of that way and like looking like the perfect dancer's body and looking or or not or whatever and I think it's it's so draining all the time to be worrying about it and will that go away i don't know is it part of the job maybe because i know a lot of other performers feel this way which is horrible and there are pressures when it comes to boys and the way that boys should look in this industry too and i think it's really tricky to navigate and deal with um i feel like i'm still on a journey to find a really good relationship with food and accepting myself and my body but we'll get there and you know i think it's just a tricky industry to to be in in that sense but um i mean i could talk about it for days i'm just gonna add some mascara and then i also have some lashes to add but as i was doing my brows there i was just sort of thinking about the question about like my ex being in videos and things like that and i think i think i learned from that like obviously when i yeah when i started seeing the guy i was seeing after him it just made me realize how private i wanted to keep that for a long time and then when you know things didn't work out i'm like well i'm glad that i never shared any of it because then it's just it's very private and it's sort of as much as it was it was so nice to be able to document memories and stuff it kind of it did show me that the next person that I want to share with you guys on my channel like I want that to be my husband you know what I mean and obviously I won't know that for quite like a long time and like I said I'm in the mindset of being a single carefree girl for like the next while <laughs> i guess i'll know in the future when's the right time to share like someone new with you but obviously like i said that's not gonna be for a while your bank account is thriving um false uh yeah i'm gonna go with false to be honest i mean everyone has a different sense of like what it means to be thriving in their bank account but i think for where i like want it to be <laughs> is not there so i'm gonna go with false for that one okay mascara's on this is how we're looking i've just got these i bought these when i was in boots the other day they are i think they're new boots own brand number 14 orla and they're basically like end lashes like corner lashes which obviously just look a bit more natural so i'm gonna pop some glue on those like i said i will leave every product i've used down below apart from my foundation was the primark foundation so sorry guys you won't be able to get your hands on that at the moment but i will link my other favorite one that i've just run out of which is the nyx one so guys sorry about the stumpy nails it was about time if you've watched my vlog it was about time for the nails to come off next assumption you'd give up youtube for your theater career if you had to love you um 
I don't think she'll mind me saying this. Um, Leah, you know, Jake and Leah, I absolutely love them. But um, Leah is in the same boat as me. She is a performer, she trained, and she's currently doing like YouTube and social media stuff. Um, and I'm pretty sure she answered this. So the assumption is you'd give up YouTube for your theater career if you had to. Um, it would break my heart, but yes, I would say this is true. Um, it is because it's all I've ever wanted to do since I was like four and yeah I think would never ever want to be in that situation and I pray that I'd never have to be in that situation because it would be it would be awful but um yeah I, I, I guess I'd have to because it is my absolute dream and I'd have to do that and I'm pretty sure she said the same thing in a recent video but um if she's watching this then I, I literally love her and I'm so excited for us to finally meet after lockdown I feel like we're gonna get on so well we're just both in the same boat and we can fully relate with all of this going on at the moment you have the perfect family setup slash relationships um, I'd say this is false. I don't think anyone ever has a perfect like family setup or whatever. Um, I love my family, don't get me wrong. We have like a really good time together, whatever, but no family is perfect and especially not during lockdown. I mean, everyone's finding it hard in lockdown as well, but yeah, no one ever has a perfect family setup. Just putting the lashes on. I was also just thinking about as I was doing my lashes. If you guys haven't listened to Leah sing, I want, I want her to produce a CD, a playlist for me, and I can just play it all day, every day. Here is pretty much the finished makeup look. I just went ahead and did my lips and stuff. I'm gonna do my hair, pop in some bigger earrings, and then answer the last few assumptions, and then we're done. I never just wear my hair like down straight, ever, but um, I thought I'd just give it a little straighten to finish off this video you're the favorite child <laughs> no i'm joking um, but yeah that's pretty much all of them i don't know what this video is going to be how long it's going to be i know some people are doing like the quick fire ones but i thought if i do it with the makeup then it's sort of like two things in one and it makes both of them a little bit more interesting but i hope you enjoyed and i hope you're well please follow me over on instagram and enter my misguided giveaway subscribe on here so when i get to 40,000 subscribers i can do another giveaway on here i love doing this on my last video if you've made it to that to the end please leave loads of white hearts um in the comments i said red hearts last time and i loved seeing all the red hearts so if you've made it to the end please leave me some white hearts in the comments i love you so so much hope you're doing okay Lots of love and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day.